you're tuned into Visions, a business and community affairs program designed to encourage and promote entrepreneurship in Central Alabama. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Vision. Cedric Vaughn, I'm very excited about our program today. We're talking about entrepreneurship, and we're talking about it with an owner of uh, one of our local businesses, Mr. Orlando Cannon. Mr. Cannon, thanks for being with us on How the you program. Doing? Very excited. You know, you and I have been knowing each other for a long time, long time. And so we're honored to have the opportunity to finally get a chance to talk to you on the right, Vision Show. Right. Uh, you've been in business, uh, managing and running your own business for a long time. Yes, sir. And, and one of the things we wanted to ask you about about is just uh, your vision for getting started. How did this dream, this vision come about for Canon Janitorial Service? Well, at first it was like early on in college. I worked for a company and uh, pretty much all my parents, sister, brother, aunt, were school teachers. And I promised myself I wouldn't be a school teacher. Okay, okay. And, uh, but I wanted to get through college because I wanted to make my mother proud. Right. I mean, she preached education all the time. Uh -huh. And uh, good credit and education uh -huh. and keep God in your life. Uh -huh. And uh, from there I was working and, you know, I started my business and um, been working it a long time. Uh, we do uh, full janitorial nightly service. Uh, we do construction cleanup. Uh, um, we clean carpet. We do windows. We do a pretty much a host of any kind of cleaning. Uh -huh. um, We've been, like I said, we've been doing it a long time. And uh, we are hit peeps and valleys. That's mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. It's basically like life. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of treat it a little bit at a time. You're going to have some setback, but mm -hmm. a setback is ready for a comeback. Mm -hmm. So you want to be good and keep your mind focused. And I think mind sight and eyesight, you got to look at mind sight and look at eyesight and see where you're trying to go. And my mother always told me, you got two H's in anything in life. That's hard and hard. That's hard, H-A-R-D, mm -hmm. and H-A-R-T. Mm -hmm. And that makes a big difference in life. My mother always used to tell me, uh, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So you just have to keep grinding and creep, keep grinding. I try to push that to my kids. And my mother always used to tell me, say, hey, go to school, find the smartest kid in class and do what he do. Mm. You got to be. Mm -hmm. And if you work real hard, you just might have an A. Okay, okay, hold right there. So your mother told you that you, in order to be successful right. uh, in class. Right. Now your mother was a retired school teacher. And how Taught long did school you? school for 44 years. Okay. So yeah. she knew what she was talking about. Absolutely. Right. I, I go to bank and she's 97 years old now. She lives with me. And I love my mother to death. Wow. So she said, find the smartest kid in the class. Right. Do what they do. Right. Guaranteed to be. Okay. And if you study, you have an A. Okay. All right. That's good. That's a promise. That's good. And if you, if you put everything to life with that same principle, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with business, just find somebody who's in business that you think successful and follow their trait mm -hmm. or get to know them. They don't have to even be in the same business you're in. You just want somebody that's a role model, and asking for help is not a sign of weakness like we all think. It's a sign to remain strong if you plan on staying with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's all about making mistakes. Mm -hmm. the, the real deal is, uh, I'll tell you a prime example that my mother t told me. Uh, it was a kid walking through a park, and he saw this cocoon with the butterfly coming out. Uh -huh. And he watched it and he saw the butterfly fly away. So the next day he came through the same park and he saw another cocoon and the butterfly was trying to get out. So he picked up a stick and stuck in the cocoon. Uh -huh. And the butterfly flew out but he fell to the ground and he died. Uh -huh. And it's a lesson in life right there saying you need some struggles to, to move on. So if you don't do that, you know, mm -hmm. things, you'll die. Well, that, and that's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, you, we have, of course, we talk about uh, business. We talk to successful business owners like yourself on the program. And so uh, we've got people who have a vision. They want to do something in particular. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanted to ask you is uh, for a person who 
wants to do something in particular, they got an idea, mm -hmm. what is the first thing they need to do in order to get that in motion? I think the first thing you need to do with anything, get your faith right. Mm. You need faith. your faith right. Okay. You, need, you, you need your health. And then start to research what you're trying to do. Find somebody doing it. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Internet's so brilliant now, you, mm -hmm. you know, it's the smartest thing in the world, mm -hmm. the computer. Mm -hmm. So get on the computer, find the right information. Information will win, but information gets you in a position to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to have some H-A-R-D mm -hmm. and H-A-R-T. You need it mm -hmm. in order to make a business work. You, like mm -hmm. I said, you're going to fail your way to success. Mm -hmm. You got to no, don't have no limit to if you want it. Okay, so uh, am I hearing you say you, you, you can't be afraid to fail? No, no, no. You want to fail sometime. A little bumps and hits on the head is, is good. Mm -hmm. There'll be some character about mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and giving you some, some high sight and mind sight mm -hmm. so you'll know where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. But you're going to fail a bunch of times to get where you need to go. Uh, you just think about uh, Walt Disney, mm -hmm. uh, Disney World. Mm -hmm. He went bankrupt four times. Mm -hmm. You know, Henry Ford had an eighth grade education. That's right. So anybody that done, done something that's significant, everybody thought they were crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, you can find a pigeon all day downtown. It's overcrowded, but the eagle is way up top. Mm -hmm. And it's lonely up at the top. That's right. But you eat better. Yeah. You eat better. Well, well let, me, let me ask you this question. Um, since, since we're talking um, about mentors, of course, you are a mentor. Uh, you I know, don't know you're, about you're, that. You're a mentor. Uh, you're, uh, you're helping I'm, your I'm a work in progress. <laughs> you <laughs> know, I'm a work in progress. I'm, I'm like an addict. I, I need help all the time. Well, you're supporting your team members. You got people looking up to you. You know, you got payroll you got to make. You got okay. employees. You got it's, people it's, looking it's, down at me, too. It's serious so. business. Serious. So, so uh, as far as uh, finding and fulfilling your dream, how do you find a mentor? Ah, you look out there and, and, and find. What's, I mean, what's like the importance of mentor? A mentor give you some hindsight. See, what ha have to happen to you, somebody have to see something in you that you don't see in yourself till your belief kicks in. Mm. See, you know, a lot of people tell you, hey, you can do this. I assume what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. You thought about it, you thought about thought it. There's a hundred things in the back of your mind told you you couldn't do it. Right, right. So you had to kind of jump. Mm -hmm and then catch your wings on the way down. That's right. So, I mean, and, and you're going to get some bruises and bumps outside the head. Mm -hmm. That just come with the territory. Mm -hmm. So you have to actually put in mind that, hey, I can't be stopped, you know. I, I'm, I'm pretty crazy, mm -hmm. you know. I mm -hmm. can't be stopped, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got no choice. Mm -hmm. So you have to put it in your mind that you don't have any choice and, hey, I'm going to do this and I am not going to be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. So, so you just... So, you, uh, so am I hearing you say you got to go all in? Yeah, you got to be all in. You got to mm -hmm. be all in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speed of the leader, the speed of the group. All right, well, let me ask you this question. What about relationships in business? Oh, you are How important is that? Super. You got to have all kind of relationships. And, and, and some relationships ain't good. Okay. I mean, you got uh, nourishing relationships and you got toxic relationships. I, that's come from growing up as kids that you deal with mm -hmm. when you were growing up sure. that you don't deal with anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you're better than nobody. You just want more. Mm -hmm. uh, you you want to put yourself and do some separation. Then, like I said, you want to find somebody who's doing what you're doing uh, in business that you admire and that you think they are doing good mm -hmm. and try to follow their trail. Mm -hmm. I get with them and ask them what 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 I did, what you doing to mm -hmm. to get where you you going, and I know you still growing too. Mm -hmm. So everybody needs some kind of coach, a mentor, or somebody to see something that you hadn't mm -hmm. seen in mm -hmm. yourself until mm -hmm. your belief kicks in. Mm -hmm. So you you know you just have to stay with that, and you got to be patient. You got to think big, look big, but start small. Well, you know, we've got about four minutes now. Um, we're getting our cue. One of the stories you told me yesterday was about um, a client of yours that had you to come to Birmingham right, to right. finish a job. So right. just kind of give us an overview of that story. Well, I tell everybody that worked with us this same story. I was doing, I do some work for some companies here, and this company was doing some work in Birmingham. And they hired a superintendent in Birmingham. So the superintendent got relationships in Birmingham. He had a cleaning service to do the work up there. So the guy who I deal with in Montgomery called me and said, Orlando, I need a big favor. I need some help. 
we're doing a, up the creek in Birmingham behind the Galleria, and uh, the people are not satisfied with the cleaning. Mm -hmm. I need you to go up there and get it straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we goes up to Birmingham for a couple afternoons, and we finally get it straight, and management is happy. Uh, they get ready to send them a check down here, so everybody happy. So I get back, and I turn the invoice in, and about a week later, they send me a check. I charged the guy $2,500 to do the work. He sent me a check back for $1,495. So when I got the check, I looked at it, and I picked up the phone immediately and called him. I said, you know, I sent you an invoice for $2,500. He said, yeah, Linda, I know, but we had another service up there, and we had to pay them something. So I said, okay, and I hung the phone up. Two weeks later, he called me and said, hey, I got a Dollar General in Birmingham, I mean, say on Highway 14 in Prattville. I need you to go up there and just clean the windows and do one, ba one bathroom. And uh, Dollar General actually does their own cleaning. Uh -huh. So I went in there and I sent him an invoice for $150. Uh -huh. He sent me a check back for $950. Wow. And I tell my guys, every time you do something, don't always have your hand out to get some money because if you, you, if you do a good job, your work speaks for itself. So you'll get the money two for always want to give your customer more than they pay for and you'll get it back at the end mm. and um, so you're saying you're saying focus on excellence yeah yeah you got to be phenomenal when you're doing stuff okay i mean you you got to have your stuff way up here you got to do some separation uh -huh. and it's a lot of things to do separation i mean add other services that other companies doesn't do uh, uh you know discount your invoice it's a several you know things you can do to gotta critique be, what you're doing. Got to be a step above. Yeah, you got to always stay a step above, maybe two steps above. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, life is yeah. real treacherous. Because when you're talking about being a small business, a small businessman in a smaller company, right? Uh, you got to separate yourself. Yeah, you got to do something uncommon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to change what you do. You got to change your whole approach. I mean, in order to get where you need to go, you got to do some 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 crazy things to get there, mm -hmm. and you got to be a no nonsense guy. You know, you don't know your limitation yourself. Mm. I mean, when you want something, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you got to remember the bumblebee don't supposed to be able to fly. Mm. The wings are supposed to be too small for the bumblebee, but you know, the bumblebee don't know it. Mm -hmm. That's why that well, that's why it flies. Excellent. Well, I tell you, Mr. Cannon, uh, we could go on with, with uh, the analogies because they are really great. Love to hear these Thank stories you. and, and uh, how you are moving your company they and your truthful organization. They are too. Yeah, this is a real deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, excellent. So, thanks for coming to be with us on the yes, program. Sir. We're going to invite you back so we can talk some more. Thank it's you. It's a great, great wisdom and great insight. That's going to do it for us on this segment of Vision. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back.